Hello guys, and welcome to Supersonic Flyer, a single platform for all details and information about AME. Today we are going to discuss on most common doubt of the AME aspirants, that is salary after the course. We are going to see the salaries after the course, rank wise. This video is going to be very interesting and informative, so watch it till end to know what happens after the course. So let's get started without wasting time. Before starting this video I would like to give you some tips. Let me tell you guys that, to become eligible to, certify or sign off an aircraft, take a time of up to 6 to 7 years for a student, and this time also depends on passion and interest of a student. So if you think that after a 2 year course, or a 4 year of course, you would start earning in lux, then you are mistaken my friend. Coming on to next tip, your only motive in college days should be to clear modules and gain knowledge, the only thing that will help you in future will be your knowledge, so focus on getting it. Also after course, don't think much about money, I understand it is important, but try to be unique and capable, and you will automatically start to earn. So this were some tips and motivation, so let's get back to our topic. Soon after the course you will start as a trainee technician. As a trainee technician, your only job is to learn and gain experience, as you would be new to this field you can expect a pay of 8000 to 12000 per month, and it is but obvious that it may vary from airline to airline. After trainee technician comes junior technician. As a junior technician you might have a little experience, and thus you would be able to do minor technical tasks. Now you can expect a pay of 15,000 to 20,000 per month, and it also varies from airline to airline. After junior technician comes technician. This post is also referred to as senior technician or master technician or something like this. You are now eligible and experienced enough to do all the technical task, but still you are not eligible to sign off aircraft. You can expect a pay of 25,000 to 40,000 per month, and it varies from airline to airline. After technician comes, cat a trainee AME. As the name suggests now you are a trainee AME, and are eligible to do major tasks and checks, but still you cannot sign off an aircraft. You can expect a pay of 50,000 to 60,000 per month, and it varies from airline to airline. After this comes, Cata. AME. This is a post in which you have a great experience and knowledge, you can now perform checks for any part of the aircraft, but still you cannot sign the aircraft. You can expect a pay of 60,000 to 80,000 per month, and it varies from airline to airline. Now comes the most awaited post, which is Cat B. AME. This is a post in which you have the most experience and knowledge, and it is now that you can sign off for aircraft. Talking about salary, your pay starts from 1 lakhs and increases with your experience. This is a dream stage for many AME aspirants. So that was all about post and salaries of aircraft maintenance engineer. If you found this video interesting the like the video, share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe Supersonic Flyer. So that's all for today see you soon in next video. Till then, stay home, stay safe, 